A very warm welcome and a very warm good afternoon to all the participants who are watching us through YouTube live today. We have come to the fifth and final day of this e-workshop on Linux fundamentals organized by Department of IT Women's College, Agartala. It has been a great privilege and a matter of joy for us to be hosting this e-workshop. We would like to thank all our resource persons and all the participants for being with us and sharing their valuable feedbacks and sharing their valuable suggestions with us. The feedback link will be given at the end of this technical session. And I would like to request all the participants, the registered participants, to fill up the feedback form so that it will be easy for us to send you all the e-certificates. So today, we are delighted to have with us our last, but of course not the least, resource person of the day, who is none other but then Dr. Shomin Devnath, who will be discussing with us on LaTeX for doc documentation. So the topic for today is LaTeX for documentation. I would like to introduce our resource person to our participants for today. Dr. Shomen Devnath is an assistant professor in the Department of IT, Mizoram University. He has completed his PhD from Northeastern Hill University, Shillong, Meghalaya. He has around more than 10 years of teaching and research experience. He has also served as assistant professor in NIT, Manipur, before joining Mizoram, before joining Mizoram University. He also holds several administrative work like HOD, Warden, SPOC in Mizoram University, as well as NIT Manipur. His research interests include information security, cloud computing, Internet of Things, public key cryptography, and secured communications, etc. He has around more than 20 articles to his credit in international journals, conferences, and book chapters. He organized several workshops and faculty development programs and reviewed many articles of reputed journals and conferences. He has an active membership of academic and professional bodies. He is also a member of Board of Studies, Board of Professional Studies, School Board, Academic Council of Mizoram University, etc. He is a lifetime member of Institute of Engineers, Computer Society of India, I ISTE, IAENG and etc. So I would like to welcome Dr. Shomen Devnath. Dr. Shomen, the platform is yours. And welcome. Thank you, madam. So very good afternoon. Uh, respected Honorable Chief Potran, Director of NIT Agartala. Uh, Potran, Director of Higher Education, um, Tipura, President, and principal president, principal of women's scholars, Agartala, organizing secretary, convener, and resource person. This is a very wonderful uh, e-workshop on latex fundamental. I am delighted to become a part of this nice workshop. I want to thank the organizing committee, especially Shima Madam and <clears throat> uh, Pushpa, Pushma Madam, for giving the chance to share my small knowledge among the participants. Last few days, uh, we I already gone through the resource persons. They are uh, they have discussed and explained a lot of fundamental of Linux. Uh, so today we will see something different. Uh, actually, uh, LaTeX, uh, which is for document preparation purpose. Not only in the Linux platform, we can run these things in the uh, windows to any kind of platform we can run system this is very useful especially the research scholar or those who are writing article book and the such kind of articles those who are writing for them it is very important so uh, just i am sharing my skin please ensure is it visible my skin or not Yes, it is visible. Okay, so my skin is visible. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So uh, yes, 
so today's in my lectures the latex so this is my uh, outline of my lectures i just want to do uh, latex introduction introduction to latex means uh, what are the why we should use the latex what exactly the latex means what are the facilities we are going to have get from the latex that things after that how we can do some basic document writing a latex code basic formatting math mode or figure table that kind of uh, content how we can manage and and make uh, using that kind of content how we can make the document that things we can see then we can, we will see the some research article and this is how we can uh, prepare for that file structure what are the templates available for that from where we will get the template that kind of things and after that we will be seeing something latex extended versions uh, means uh, some common error if it is there how to handle that things and we will be seeing some more things like uh, some mathematical mod uh, mathematical uh, equations then writing the theorems hypothesis how we can write that things after that we will be see little bit uh, mac macros operations actually the macros means uh, some code or modifying or making some of the package or some syntax by ourselves how we can make that kind of things and that is we can use for our making any kind of templates that things we will be seeing after that you will see preparation of the slides or uh, for the presentation purpose we have can use the latex and that is for uh, using the pmr that things also will be seeing so this is actually basically i try to discuss in the today's lectures uh, latex actually this is a, a software basically and document preparation software so there is a lot of syntax are available every day every things by one day or two days is not possible to learn so my target or my intention is only to introduce uh, some basic things and what are the facilities are available or providing by the latex and in which environment we can run what are the platform required that things i try to show and once if i start or if i just show you uh, the participants who uh, just uh, having this basic idea they can and after a little practice or some more practice they can become after one or uh, means after one or two months they can become a expert in the latex so uh, to in this today's lecture just i try to show some of the basic things i just i will not only explain the content i will show some demonstration also how we can and uh, make that uh, latex document and content that things also are going to show uh, actually uh, if just uh, starting of the latex if we see the latex actually sophisticated document preparation systems or a software we can say and this is created by the donald north uh, these things all i think uh, many of the participants uh, those who are related with the free research and those who are uh, uh, write, written some content in the article and journal they already aware about this latex and their uh, uh, document preparation systems also so those who are not uh, use this latex before for them it will be very important and i just it will be helping to start uh, how that one this uh, means they can start for their uh, future making document preparation purpose they can do so if we see the latex benefits actually latex provides a lot of benefits irrespective of the what processor actually this latex not only the only software for making the documentation or uh, document preparation for similar kind of any other software also microsoft product also available my office and these things so compared to that microsoft office the latex there is a, some more facilities that's why uh, for making the journals and books is uh, if, uh, that means the, the uh, that means the publishers are trying to uh, maintain their standard their structures so they try to use the latex only so instead of using the some other word format so this is not actually i will not tell this is totally mandatory it's not mandatory but mostly usable for the research purposes so if we see the latex it will give a lot of benefits like a first benefits it will provide the stylic uh, stylic uh, 
uh, uniformity. So what exactly the things say when we are using the word processor, say Microsoft Office, then after writing of the content, we have to uh, select the content. After selecting the content, what shape, what type, what size, everything we have to fix. But inside the, if we use the LaTeX format or LaTeX software, no need to look on that or software or template for uh, once you are preparing or any template is available, you are put your content automatically adjusted with that, this, uh, the structure. So that's why it is a stylic uniformity. It will be given. Second is that bibliography, obviously, thus uh, bibliographic support, it is bibliographic support means uh, those who are writing uh, the articles. So after writing the articles, they, when they are referring some of the articles from other author, they're supposed to give them their credit. So without giving their credit, uh, not, not possible to write any new articles directly. So for that, the authors which uh, their publications or paper we are sub uh, that means taking up for their we have to uh, that credit to giving the credit their resource or content where it is available what kind of volume and what are the things uh, uh, this article uh, which publisher is available number of page everything supposed to be mentioned in the last of the uh, articles or any of the books so for that case so if the content are taking from the different sources to handling by the some other word processes is really difficult things but by the latex it will be taking very less times and very easily it is possible to handle next thing is a sophisticated structure availabilities uh, we can make a template for making the latex um, using the latex software uh, so for if once you are using the template so we no need to think for the other presentation purpose. We have to just take prepare our content or writing and we just put there. So as per the structure it will take and it will be displayed, we can take the output and sending these things for our the purpose where we want to sending or where we want to publish that site. Then reference tracking also says sometimes from the with other software or word processors, a little bit difficult, but uh, here using the LaTeX, the references handling and tracking is very easy and not only this whatever the content or how much content we just want to add with that latex uh, so we can do so that's why it is very highly extendable capabilities and lastly there is a not lastly we are saying the latex some more facilities are providing like that say de facto standard of uh, academic journal and book preparations so uh, this is a one standard so that's why for academic journal and book preparation purpose, uh, we mostly the LaTeX is usable format. So LaTeX actually it is a given as the some micro system built on the tech um, for programming and to the target to LaTeX is to simplify and automate the common formatting tasks. So not only we cannot with the, using the LaTeX software, we cannot uh, say, uh, write the content, but what are the content we are writing that things the format and automation purpose it will be helping us. But here is a some little uh, uh, latex, little bit drawback also compared to the word processor. So that drawbacks are I just am t telling uh, this uh, considering that are the drawbacks like spell check of the document. So spelling or grammatical like a word processor, say Microsoft Office, how they are providing uh, LaTeX uh, are not providing that thing. So, but nowadays some of the um, editor, LaTeX, LaTeX editor is available. They are also providing some uh, international English, US, uh, some uh, grammar checking and spell checking also they are providing, but all the LaTeX version are not providing or LaTeX software are not providing the spell checker or the documentation preparation. And second things is that if we are using a LaTeX template, so there is a very less control of the formatting for the users. So we, for our, as per, as per our requirement, we cannot be temp, uh, we cannot be text put our content or design the content. So the template, what we are using as per the template, our content will be display or it will be uh, coming, uh, output will be showing that way. So next thing is that this is also another, uh, this is a little bit drawback, it's also available like that user graphical interface uh, for you editing is not also provided by the LaTeX. 
so though this is at the little bit drawbacks but this is not actually uh, totally drawback i will i will tell that way because if we uh, know how to write these things but the for the presentation purpose latex will be looked care uh, taken care but the writing things we have to be taken care so that's why you can tell that uh, you have to take care of your writing by using the latex but uh, latex will take care all the presentations of the users means uh, uh, of the content of the users so these are the uh, some basic uh, drawbacks of the latex already having so if, instead of this some uh, drawbacks also why we should be using the latex if we see then in the next slide so presentation should not get the way of the content so here if we see irrespective of this kind of uh, some drawbacks if we just see this few um, you know, with the other with other word processor if we just differentiate in between that what are things what are the things we can see that say with the word processor we have to spend a lot of time our valuable time for agonizing over the front size section handling and this and that when we are preparing our document uh, microsoft office using microsoft office we are preparing any document uh, text document so that time we have to spend our lot of time for agonizing our document means how what will be the size of the heading what will be the margin size what will be the uh, size of the uh, content what is the font of the content and how much spacing will be there that is taking a lot of time but uh, by using the latex it will give us a very short time with a second or uh, that means in a uh, template it will automatically set up so we have to only uh, think about our content only so another things if we another comparison we can do with the another word processor changing the format changing the formatting means you have to change everything in instant individually say the other word processor like a microsoft word processor so if, if there is a, some problem with things is that say we have to select each of the say, each word what kind of color what kind of size what kind of font everything so we are going to provide that thing individually you have to look but for the latex it is just a command or defining or redefining the command it will automatically we can do the format and some other things also there say in the word processor we have to carefully check the template but for here no need to check the template we put our content inside this so these are the some basic uh, uh, introduction about the latex so uh, although just few spell checker or less uh, formatting facilities and graphical user uh, facilities uh, irrespective of that lots of benefits we can get by the latex we can see so there is a lot of interfaces of the latex we cannot we are not justly use the latex only the say windows or the uh, linux version so this irrespective of the any interface or any kind of operating system we can use the latex so for example here i have mentioned some of the latex editor the mid tech we usually use for the windows version and only did another editor is there i have given the link also here so there is an installation how to install that things they, it is already mentioned in this uh, there in this uh, in the, you will get the content in the web installation purpose uh, for the linux ubuntu mac machines also this uh, latex software or word processing software maybe we can do so these are the for linux version lines then text maker text studio these are the versions of the latex we can use then uh, jiminy this is actually mm, linux and windows both versions is my possible tax open overlip this by overlip we can do in the internet versions means in the without installing any kind of software in the net on itself we can use the uh, the this uh, uh, latex by overlip software not only this overlip some others also available is athoria then some for android mobile for purpose also using the android mobile also we can do so i will tell this is a platform platform independent by any kind of platform we can run the latex but if we know the the syntax and command for the latex then we can uh, prepare our desired document what we want so these are the some basics about the latex but in today's lecture i just want to give how we can create the latex and latex document how we handle the these things in the latex document that things i try to see uh, we, we will try to see in this uh, workshop
today. So uh, just uh, for creating a LaTeX document, obviously at a LaTeX file, it will be um, uh, name of the file after that dot text is the extension you have to be put then automatically latex will be created uh, latex file will be created and in this latex file there is a some command which is supposed to be used and initially in the beginning of the latex file we have to use that document class what kind of document we are trying to prepare is it the letter document is it the book document it is the article document or it, it is the report document what kind of documents we are going to prepare that things we can have to be write first and this kind of declaration i have to do do first after that uh, declaration we have to create an environment where we are writing our document or content write our content that things we can do so this is for starting the document environment we have to use the instructions say uh, slash begin this instruction we can use then uh, we once we have started that instruction and uh, say uh, environment using the begin then we have to stop that one and otherwise it will um, until the stop it will not work the environment so there is a two kind of important things one is that is called declarations another is that creating environments so in the declarations there is a some uh, creating uh, after the declaration we have to put here say some of the arguments so arguments in every case is not required some of the times uh, arguments are optional arguments are we can put by using the curly to curly close bracket so this is the two element these are the arguments we can create so uh, there is a some other declaration is also available there may be these arguments are not required also but in the case of the document uh, environment creations begin then we have to put the arguments all as and with that argument some of the optional arguments also possible we will come across after uh, when, uh, up in the last in the lecture next of this part of this workshops we will be seeing so uh, as i told this is a document class document class actually it is providing the several template may be possible we have to choose out of this one so if we prepare the book report article and letters whatever we are preparing for that purpose we can include the classes book report class letter and if we want to present preparation of the slides for the presenting purpose then we can use the bmar this is that one we can use so for mostly for writing the article purpose or any paper in the conference and the workshop or say a uh, journal purpose we are using the article classes mostly and for the presentation purpose the beamer i have used uh, the beamer for presenting my today's lectures uh, ppt so this is that i made by this using the beamer so now as i told already there is a two important things the declaration and environment declarations actually it stated once and it will affect until further notice also it will be affect so say declarations are the document class as so the starting of the latex file is supposed to be required that things then the small another declaration this is uh, this kind of lot of declaration we supposed to it will be come across in this uh, just after a few times so there is some environment we are just telling that we are once we start the environment we have to stop the environment this is the begin document this is the end document so having match begin and end declaration must be constant the arguments so there is a some arguments some there is a two type of argument one argument is called that required argument one type of argument it is called that uh, we can talk, uh, tell that one is an optional argument the required argument there this kind of required argument actually uh, we have to put in between the curly braces say document class the article we are putting the argument and if we have to be pushed uh, this required argument we have to put otherwise it will not run it will show the errors but optional argument say here in this articles we are putting the optional argument say here the 12 point by using the third bracket so uh, this box bracket we just start then 12 point and something this is the optional agreement it's not mandatory if we want some more other uh, arguments we can put inside the optional arguments so and this part is uh, mandatory or a required argument so and for preparing the latex we have to consider some of the latex uh, special characters uh, this special character we directly cannot be 
type or cannot be run uh, uh, this uh, show in the uh, in the latex document so for doing that things we have to follow some of the so, some of the stand means uh, procedure to uh, show that kind of things like uh, for that the special characters what we cannot directly use so that are the characters say suppose hash value dollar percentage tab then the uh, ampersand curly brace close and um, this backslash these are the special characters actually this special character is reverse for the uh, this this special character for reverse for uh, reserve for the covert purpose and some other special characters this is uh, we have um, in the latex uh, once we want to type and these things we have to follow some of the instruction that way we can uh, print or we can display these are the special characters so directly we cannot use so mostly the participant they should avoid these are the special character for uh, that means using or writing any kind of content so when it is required uh, by using the backslash in front of the content we can use this kind of special characters so these are the some basic idea to start a latex program we can use so after that i just trying to start a basic program say hello um, world program by using the latex so for that i am taking a uh, just I am creating a file. So here, say so just I am creating a file inside the folder. So I am creating a file. I have here actually using the Windows versions. In the Windows version, this is possible to any other operating systems, the Linux and uh, Ubuntu anywhere. This is possible. So I have the LaTeX is already installed here. Mm, so this is my LaTeX. Uh, already installs i am using the mid text text box this is very uh, convenient and auto automatically handling possible many cases so we can tell uh, we can see here so this is a file i am just creating here first and i am after that i am uh, saving this file by using the name so name of the file i am just putting say a say uh, workshop workshop file and i am putting with the text this is the extension i am putting as a text file and i am putting these things say, in my desktop only so say okay latex content inside this workshop text so my file is ready now so whenever you open this uh, latex file just a blank new latex file it will be not showing any kind of things here it will come like that so for making these things i just want to uh, on some of the these things though i tell this is the spell checker is not possible but here it is giving the spell checker that's why i usually like this one mostly so i'm on the spell checking in options then from the front options i am just create opening that just little bit big it will be very much visible to a, that means for uh, the, the participant can view then i am on that latex coloring these are the uh, common uh, some some instructions i'm just trying to put in begin so now i just want to create a new file as i told in my presentation that side so i have to creating a file so here i is required say this is the first program we just want to code it here so if you see here how we can do First, I have to put here the backslash, then document class. So here it is after putting the tab, automatically the tab and that kind of syntax, if it is available, it will show us. So until when we are putting the press tab, so that kind of with the tab, that means specific character wise, what are the syntax are available, all they will show in. So this one first I want to do is a for a book purpose so i'm making a book so this is mandatory only the require um, uh, require argument i am putting with the declarations it is done then this is firstly required for us and second the important things required is that we have to put here the declarations uh, sorry uh, this is called uh, create the environment for the creating environment i am putting here say begin then the document so this begin document 
and automatically it is given as the begin and end document these two things so in between that i'm just writing here my context here i'm writing my text is that hello world okay so this is or uh, this is the text i just want to see now i just save this content and run this one so automatically it show us the content the text value is this one so this is my first program where that means starting of the these things uh, latex basic document but uh, with these basic things is not possible we have to create a set of set of number of instruction we have to know and for that we can create some new instructions by using the package we can make it and some of the already available in package is available by that so we can use by using that things we can make the document so uh, here for doing that things we can use here say some package so we have to use here the one the, this one use package use package then name of the package we can include so for basic document preparations we can prepare uh, just a uh, simple uh, this uh, package we can in include so include that package is say we are putting inside this declaration say uh, this uh, content we can use here this text so by putting this now my declaration one declaration i have created here so with this now we can make uh, is uh, possible to make our content or i can put my content here so this is just a basic requirement i just put up the fill up the basic requirement and now i just want to put some of the text and try to format that kind of text here so i'm writing here say welcome to latex workshop so this two what i'm copying multiple times and see how it is affecting for different kind of instructions we will be seeing for that so first instruction i want to put here so after running this is the content is coming here so first important things here it is required how to put in the first content in the next line so for putting the next lines as i told here before i can put the syntax uh, uh, this one percentage symbol for the command purpose or say, say comment purpose we can put so first i just want to my target to show this one is a new line new line so for doing new line so i can use this symbol this backslash symbols double backslash symbols so if i put here the double slash then it will be giving us the new line you can see here the new line how it is showing so you can see here how it is showing the new line it is going to the new line so for each of the text i am putting the double lines all are showing the this uh, is it giving the new line characters except this another things also i can put new line so then also it will be giving the same these things uh, same way it will be working this is all are the new lines okay now i just want to increase the size then it will be very clear okay now this is automatically taking this one now i just want to make my first one it is in the little bit bold size of the bold this one so i have to put the text bf after that this open and curly press the what are the text i want to make the bold i can do so text bf bold automatically it is creating so see this is the bold is already coming here now so i just want to put this text is a in the middle positions so i can put here say centering centering so after that the taxes will go to the in the middle locations 
so we can see here that all the values are going to the middle locations so this all the syntax this by double slash and centering and this is this is under in this package of use package what we are using the optional argument ut f8 and input enc in this package uh, it is available that's why uh, we are we can use these are the syntaxes here so sometimes some sort of syntax or some things we want to do maybe some people are doing but when we are trying to do in our machines it is not working this may be uh, some things sometimes it may occurs so for if it is occurs so we have to search what package corresponding that instruction we are using there that things we have to be find out and once we have include that package inside the uh, use package using the use package inside the after document class if we put then automatically it will be run uh, the this this kind of syntax also now so i'm just moving to uh, my slides now so here these are the packages very uh, important we supposed to be used here some packages are important like that say graphics x and uh, eps figure geometry fancy fancy header then set space asm mathematical and, and develop uh, mathematical equations and uh, and making the mathematical mode asm math we can use then listing writing the code of the programming languages color of the uh, color of the content we can use x color eps2 pdf url hyperlink that way a lot of packages there is a lot of packages are already available and accept these packages you can make your own packages also to make your own format or own own content this is also possible next is that uh, front of the front types actually front pages uh, font page font size and alignment as already shown in this uh, this side so here i have shown already so here so if i want to make say uh, this text of these are the text already i have taken care of this one so this text if i want to take is a say for uh, one to italic format i want to make this one so for that backslash e m p s if i put um, then the how much long content we want to do that one if i just display then automatically it will give us the that one this one you can see here latex welcome to the latex workshop so so this one is a italic format it is coming similarly some other also for the bold also we can make the text bf then not only this different kind of pages is are possible say text tt this is that say um, old uh, uh, this is the sum of the font also i can say text frame this is kind of font after doing this this text will be like that if we use the text rm then it will be content will be like that stack uh, uh, text underline or underline backslash underline by using the text will be like that and sansori or by using that uh, text sf uh, this is uh, possible uh, the text will be like that text sc by using this the text will be coming like these are the different kind of pages we can use in the latex not only these are limited many things many kind of format possible for that you have to make or somewhere you have to include the packages and after including the package you know, once you use some other uh, or you define new defined syntax that one also it will be working there is now size of the text if i size of the text there is a different kind of size may be possible so here tiny size if you want to make it a very small so you can see here i am just making for a these are the content so this is if not record i can put here the this one it is coming this way so now i just want to put different size for that tiny i want to put then how much i want to put tiny for say this much before the tiny and after the tiny in between this curly base to curly base this will be effective the tiny so after that it will be working so this is very small content it will become similarly you can make here some quite huge also 
say this text I want to make is a huge size. Hues. So how much text I want to do? This one I want to do up to this much. So then it will give us a quite big. This is a huge size. It's there. So there is a different size are available. Tiny, small, footnote, skip size, normal size. Then large and capital large, small, large. Then huge. And only the things you have to know that in between the two curly brass, it will be the effect uh, how inside the text. And in before that, I have to declare a declarations. I have to do so backslash tiny, backslash tiny. If once I do so until the finish that this uh, curly in, in between the curly press, it will be effect will be there. Similarly, some alignment we have to put here the center, uh, then um, this one flush right, flush left is also possible. Say for here, I just want to do, this is how it is affecting, let's see. So this three content, I just want to do. For that, I am putting here, begin. Then uh, I am putting here, say, center. So I have to make this one is also, as it is an environment, I have to make it is that and also this environment E and D until it will not be working. Begin center and center in between that I am putting the content. Then it is working now. Let's see and then putting running this one automatically coming. So these are the content. Now it is in the middle position. It is coming. I have put that instruction. So up to up to this much. These are the up to. Uh, yes, this four text it is actually coming this one up to this much. Uh, here, one thing I put here one is new line, another is that double uh, uh, backslash two times. I am putting once we are putting the new line, it is actually excluding the indent of the text. So, uh, for checking these things, I am just putting here not a tiny size. Is a, here I want to apply this applications so uh, once i put here it is double slash then automatically it is going to the next line you can see here next line it is going but without not putting uh, they are they are putting the indent indent they are skipping the four or five spaces in the beginning of that line like a paragraph we can say so if i put here this thing say uh, new line then how it is affecting we can see yeah both are giving the same way uh, this is actually just a small lines we are uh, doing that's why it is not showing the effects so when we will take a paragraph long paragraph then it will show the effects okay these are the simple some text it is uh, we can use for alignment font size and making the uh, faces also now the spacing for the spacing purpose we can use different kind of uh, these things say we can use say uh, for setting up the margin we can use the margin 1.5 inch in then in top bottom side and left side so we can uh, define our margin and size of the margin will be 0.5 inch and geometrical shape uh, geometry shape of this page will be clear for this guy no, uh, this one actually uh, for default margin is already available so we if it is we are not want to use the default margin for that case we can use say uh, define our specific margin also now making the paragraph spacing and breaks of the lines, we can see these are the things I just try to show here now. So um, I am trying to take a very big size of that one paragraph I am trying to make. So this one, let's see this is a paragraph I am making. I'm making a paragraph for that purpose. So this one, so 
so i already created one paragraph and i am not putting the center i'm just putting this one in between this not putting the centering so this is a just a paragraph is created so this is my paragraph is created one paragraph so for uh, doing this thing i'm just taking one lump sum lip sums also use package you can see some more effects also l i p s m lip sum okay so i'm taking one paragraph this is a random text or some blind text i am taking out what so lip sum so five paragraph i am creating one to five so see now i have already created a one quite long pages now here how it is affecting my this instructions or context let's see that one how it is actually affecting that things i want to show now so how the space the break paragraph is exactly working let's see so i have created these are this my first text it is uh, the first paragraph after this paragraph i am putting here say if we put there two blank slice uh, space also then automatically it will give the paragraph so this is the first paragraph we have created here so in this first paragraph here see here it is always created at an indent when i put here just say one or two that means to gap we are putting then automatically it is taking the indent so if i want to remove this indent then i can i can put here no backslash no indent indent so see now the text you can see here now the text is coming into the front only it's starting from the beginning point so uh, this is there now i want to put here some space in this text so here is a space for breaking the space is that we are having the two kind of space one is a vector space, sorry horizontal space one is the vertical space let's see first the horizontal space yes this is the instructions we have to choose a space how much i want to put here the space say here uh, i want to put the space here say uh, uh, 10 centimeters i think this is will be a calibres calibres so after doing these things see here 10 centimeter space is showing us horizontal side let me take it is a five okay now after this paragraph say after this much of the line i want to put a vertical space so here i just want to put here the b space then you see the differences just a gap how much i want to put the gap that one it is possible okay so uh, then not only this for making the paragraphs we can use the like a back bar options this uh, this one then we can use a uh, uh, h field horizontal field then we can use v fill that are the different kind of syntax are already available you can see and you can explore later also so these are the spacing creation inside the latex document now we will be seeing the making the list and text coloring makes making the list and the text color we can use uh on this uh for that no need to use the package but the but for coloring we have to use the package so i just want to make this kind of thing some coloring and the, making the list also so for coloring uh, we have to use the use package use package so package name is color color i am putting here x color so my package inclusion finish now i can make here the color also for making the color say this text i want to make here the color c o l o r color 
So what color I want to put? Say red. Red. Then the color will be coming like that. So how much type, uh, text? Uh, this much text I want to make a color. So this is this much. This text is becoming the color. So you can use here the any other text also. That also it will be given. Say here blue. Then blue color it will be showing us. Okay. Then uh, uh, I just want to show here the making the uh, listing or uh, bull creating the uh, list or numbering bulleting how we can create for that latex uh, document so for that purpose i'm just creating to include here the one environment we have to bullet environment we have to create begin using the begin so what item itemize i have to create so after that creating the items i can put here the item name of the item so here some of the tags one item then item item say here another text i am putting then these things i i try to create now now in this content here two bulleting is coming so here i just want to first paragraph i want to put in the first item then in the second item again similarly another content i want to put say uh, okay same text i am putting here so these two item i created so this this two item already created now i just want to put instead of this thing say here using i want to use here the number a b c that one so for doing these things i just want to put here a b so i have to use the optional argument what is the optional argument a dot then here in this item b dot it's not mandatory without this also so here a and b item is creating okay so here if you want to use here the star or capital any kind of text whatever you will be that way it will be display the item values so this is the star values it is creating so each of the many symbols or special symbols are possible that's a special symbol corresponding what are the uh, latex uh, code or syntax is available if you use that syntax or uh, uh, syntax then uh, automatically that syntax uh, that means that phase of that um, uh, symbols will be shown so not only this another way also we can make we can make the nested and loop also how to make the nested loop so i am just again starting for the uh, begin itemize so instead of itemize i am enumerated enumerates i am just putting so here it will be create one two three values so this is a nested kind of things i want to show here first content then second item this is that say i am putting here second content uh, then it will be coming these things see this is loop uh, sorry uh, items again under them some sub items or nested items we, have to, we can create so this is some of the some item itemized these are the text you can see here begin itemize after that you can numerate by the number list we can create then text color also we have seen using the text uh, use package color or x color then uh, in under the uh, that means under the two curly brace we can put backslash color then the color name of the color once we put the name of the color then we can put uh, any kind of color we can create this white yellow magenta cyan blue green red these are the colors are available now this is the, just a basic formatting now uh, actually we can use the latex but using the for nice presentation of the equations and uh, purpose mostly the mathematicians or the that means scientific and document preparation purpose latex are mostly usable because the equations and similar kind of things is showing very nicely here so two kind of equation we have to be used for our document preparation purpose one document say uh, i am putting here some of the equations so one uh, equation is say inline equations Sometimes in the when we are writing, there are some paragraph inside the paragraph, some equation required, and sometimes required the equation is separately. 
So for putting the inline equation, such I have to be use the two dollar symbol. So in this text, I want to put this in this item as in this uh, inside this in this content. I want to put one equations. What is the equation? Say any of the equation. I have to use here the two dollar symbol. So in between the two dollar symbol, what I will be writing that will be inline equation it will be possible to write here so say y equal to x square plus 2 plus 2 so this equations so i just try to show this equation so where exactly it is coming making the bold uh, see this is the equation is coming in, in line equations so this way in between the two oh, dollar symbol we can put the equations what are the equation we can want to write that one we can write after that in, inside the line equation will be printed so there will be no equation numbers and these things will be coming inside this in, in, in this uh, equations now now i just want to show uh, there is a many equations may be possible you can write in between the dollar symbol any number this is using plus symbol any things or you want to square root of three of, of five so that one square root three and this is the three square root so this one is uh, this value is this you can put sqrt then value three as, as optional argument then the value for what value you are going to finding out five that one in between the two dollar symbol this is an inline equation making the fractions say fract a and b then doing this so this is not actually uh, difficult just i want to show here so once you know these things it automatically sometimes some of the syntax we have to type this is also come automatically so i want to make a fractions in between the two symbols say backslash fra then tap uh, fraction so automatically symbols they will be given when we put the tab values so here a square plus 5 here down i am just writing the twice uh, say here y this is the fraction in between these two and this is the equation in between these two we have to put here see this is the value it is coming inside this so every time we is uh, we cannot use only the inside the text only but we have to use outside of the text for that we have to create the environment of the equations so how we can create the environment equation for that we can see here that things we have to use here asm math package for making the equations so i am putting the package here use package asm math So this is the AMS math, AMS and AMS math. After running this package, so I can create a math environment. Now I can put here many of my equations uh, on uh, equation I can create. So for in between these two lines, I want to put here the one equations. This is actually. Uh, items I just put here inside this content I don't want to put so here begin equation format I have to be create begin uh, equation so equation is environment created so in between this and equations I want to put my equation previous equation this one So begin equation and equation and in this environment i after that i am putting see now this is the value is showing the equations so if i want to skip the numbering equation number then you have to put here the star values only so after putting these things equation number is omitted but it is a uh, not inline outline of equations it possibles here so sometimes it's required multiple equations also by using or array type or an array uh, this one align also we can make a some of the equation you can see here align 
versions of equations. So here aligned sign just putting begin. So this one here like okay this two now I am putting here the two or three equation automatically it will give so two equation I want to put here say this one I am taking one equation and another equation I am taking say 5y is equal to 7x n okay but here I have to use here the uh, two things here uh, we have to be use the ampersand in between that so here I am putting the ampersand here I am putting the ampersand I hope think this thing also required so these two equations are coming one two you don't want the equation number then I put the star in the beginning environment or ending the environment so it will give us the no equations so here multiple equations we can write say here the 13 uh, 8 sorry square here it is 9 value here it is oh, i have mistaken it's supposed to be this one will be after this the person symbol before the equal symbols so here it is 3 so I am putting here new line so that way equations so I can create the equation so there is a lot many equations you can create or many things you can create but whenever you want to use for the equation purpose some of the Greek letters so you have to write that Greek letter so instead of X I want to put here say alpha A L C H alpha so I am putting here say beta this one I am putting here gamma so after doing these things so equations are changed say y is equal to alpha square plus 5 then 5 y is equal to 7 beta square plus 5 uh, 3 y, y equal to uh, 9 uh, gamma square plus 13 so that way we can create the equations number of line equations or equations with the equation number without equation number inline equations and outline equation and uh, many more things you can do so for that once you start this using these equations and you such what kind of equation you want to make you such the net you will get the uh, specific content for that now i just want to move from this equation to there is some more equation settings we can do for the inline equation and outline equation, begin equation and equation that way we can do. This is okay. Now I want to move for using the figure and table. How I can make the figure and how can I can make the table in the latex document. Let's see, we can try to see that things there. So for making the figure, see here. So I want to put the figure say in these locations so just a view i'm just making little bit bold more bold i'm making so and now in this locations i want to put one figure say these locations these locations so here i want to put one figure how i can want to add the figure for adding the figures so I have to use here on the package. So the package name will be use package. Package name will be graphics. So I have already mentioned, I hope the figure. Okay, let's see graphics. graphics x let's see it is running yes running this is the correct syntax so use package package is graphics x now i can uh, i will to add here the figure so i just want to make one figure and want to uh, display the figure there 
so figure for that purpose i'm making one figure as an ic snipping tool i am using so the figure is this one say suppose hmm, this is my figure so i'm creating this figure i'm storing this figure inside the where i'm creating inside the that positions say uh, my text it is in the i hope it is in the abc workshop not this is the not file i think here workshop yes i have to put inside the latex content inside this the thing uh, this uh, this one i have to save and the desktop the latex context here the figure figure now i am putting say figure one dot jpc any kind of figure if you have the figure that one you put there you just take out that figure from that side so my figure is ready now i want to put inside this content here the figure so the for the figure i'm just removing that new line then it will be clear i think it will be good to understand purpose so no new line no new line no spacing so this is one just a paragraph in between this paragraph i want to put so within this text i is required so i have to take, make a begin figure so begin figure and figure is correct it's come already now i have to put here the figure in which positions you want to put in the center so c and centering positions so centering i want to put the figure and for inclusion of the figure i have to do include this syntax include graphics name of the graphics is what name of the graphics already i have put i have to put the path as it is here the figure name i have already saved that figure is figure one figure one dot jpg this is my figure name so i'm taking here and in this locations i want to put so figure name figure one jpg okay so i have to put here size of the figure so size of the figure here height let me put here the height S I G H T. Okay. ID is put equal to fifty percent of the text length, text width. Text width. Let's see it's run or not. Yes. What I figure I have included that is already come here. This is the figure. Say I have included there this figure. So this figure it is just a fifty percent I have created. So if you want to create it is a seventy percent, ninety percent. So this is the um, full versions of the figure. So the figure is little bit not clean. I just want to take a one another figure. Say this one. It will be good. I think. Uh, this is the figure I'm just taking out. Saving, paste save as a figure two. Figure two, JPG. So after doing save this one, so I just trying to take. It's okay. So after taking these figures, uh, I just want to take here also. Let's see both the figure. Now I am putting here figure two. This is capital letter, hopefully. J F G. That way said. So this is the figure two is also coming. So not only the figure, so sub figure also we can put and these things we can do. So here important things required is the figure captions is required. Captions. I have to put the captions. So caption is that figure of so something. So this is the caption. 
to the figure of the captions you want to put the caption in the app then you include this after doing caption you put then this now the figure caption it will come up for this scenario this one say so here it is some caps uh, captions figure okay so this is the this uh, way i can put so here you can also add here the level also level say fig so i am putting here say fig or colon or anything you can put here just the name of the level okay so level name i put now this figure where it is required it's required maybe i have to refer in these locations so for referring these things i have put at the level of the figure is say this is my level of the figure this i'm just copying paste in this position i want to refer this figure so i put here that way so backslash ref i'm just putting the value in between the third bracket so this is the value you can see this location let's see the location where it is there uh, yeah latex 2 workshop so this is the figure number two so you can write here figure figure number number of the figure you can put here or say figure by this we are referring so in that location this is the figure numbers now these are the some things is made possible here by using figure similarly we can create but uh, here we can put some of the extra arguments which with the figure like uh, that one say you can put here say htbt for positioning of the figure where which position we have to put top position bottom position the middle position the left side right side which positions for making that position we have create a optional argument for this optional argument if you want to create so for that say for h the place in the float here so whatever the suitable place anywhere it may be float no problem position at the top of the page if you put the t then whenever trying to display it always the every page in the top position it will be display b bottom positions then t put on the special page for the float only and that is um, uh, this is explanatory sign for that uh, overwriting the interfaces parameter uh, internal uh, parameter latex uh, uses the determining include for position so this is just a also position purposes is possible to make so that way we can add the figure now we'll see the same way we can create the table also for table creations for the creation of the table we can see we have to create the environment now i want to put this thing i am just copying pasting to my to making the little bit bigger size of my context so this is i am just returning copy and paste now my document become a little bit big so if you see this is the document little bit big document i already got okay so this all that i am doing on the based on the say here book format now i can change here this book format to report also so you can change the little bit difference in the book to report format report format it is actually uh, this is a one for means where the left side and right side means uh, the indexing it will be in the middle when it is a book format then you can say two pages book it will be showing means the uh, and this one say so for the page one it is right side more in then index means the spacing the next second page the left side is more facing and fourth page that is means both pages is creating the book 
and uh, when we are putting this article, I am putting here. Oh yeah, now it's correct. So article face. So it is in the middle. Every pages are the same way. It is possible to make. Now, in this context text here, we have seen uh, things. Let me see a table. We want to see now the table. Table I want to put here. So after this, before this, I want to put the table here. So for making the table, I have to begin the environment table environment. Begin table. Okay. So table environment created like that here. Table caption also you can put here. CAP caption say table one. Level also you can put like a picture. So tab say level name is one. So putting the table. Then we have to put here the tabular format. And I am putting here the table must be I want to put in the center position. So centering centering now i want to put so for putting the table i will create using the uh, tabular begin tabular so i have to put here how many row how many columns of the table will be there that things i have to put here row column not need to mention but we have to mention only the row size so i have here the three row so for that in the argument we have to put the row numbers for left side if i want to put a table uh, border then right side i am putting the table border by using the bar i will put so now i am putting the left for the content or uh, the values of the table it will be put the left side if i put the right it will be right side it will be c it is a center so three rows i will be creating okay now how you will just making that three rows say first i am putting one equation in the first table box so this is my equations in the first positions okay i am putting the serial number then m percent second is that equation one equation third in this say some value remarks remarks so after that i have to put here this so before this i have to put here the horizontal line so how i can make the horizontal h line so my horizontal line is ready then table first column first row sorry uh, in the first in the row first element second element third element these are the ready then i am just making h h line let's see how it is displaying so this is the table it is creating i want to put in between this also a table values means the border e element border so i am putting the element border here so this is that values now this is the first one then second line again i have to put the equations now i want to put here this equation this side so serial number oh sorry i have to put this after this serial number it is say one dot and m percent after that equation the remake remarks this is a say again m percent then i am putting here the what kind of equations this is a fraction fraction equations okay so i just finish a by using h line then it is s length over then mm, so it's come that h line i have a mistake is there so mistake is coming 84 line positions 84 line position let's see and tabular begin tabular uh, what is that fraction i have to put here the this symbol after without this it will not be working now it's working see the table similarly this table i just want to make little bit bigger table this 
is the values. I'm putting say here number two position. It is serial number three. This is serial number four. This is serial number five. So why it is coming two times? This is five. This is six. Okay. So now this is my table. Now I want to do not want to give any of the bordering or see this is actually which location it is coming. If I change this value, it is R. Then if you see this is the light right positions, it will be going. The values will be go to the right positions. So right position. If I want to make this one in the say center positions now see it in the center positions similarly this all the uh, elements here also i am to put here it is a left position then the values will be going to the left positions then this is the right positions i want to make this one the header little bit bold for that this one so i can write here the text we have so serial number okay then equation also bold by the serial number then remarks by this now my header means first row it will become the bold okay so that way we can create the table now just shape of the tables i am just changing so if i put here c c c 3 c see the table how it is coming if i want to do this is something two time h line so you can do i'm removing this one just making a comment this is making a comment by this just hiding this content so the tables are coming like that. So down also I just want to make two times horizontal line. So how you want that way you can make your tables. You can merge the multiple columns and these things also. I am not showing here. You can uh, search for making the table. You can move the table, revise the table, merging two columns and two row. This is also possible in the table. This is possible. So you please go through rest. I'm not showing. Now next I want to show here the figures is there tables already I have done then level and caption also I have shown the table and figure we can put then that level or captions we can refer also this level I have put it here level is tab one so now I can refer this one the table so we can use using the table sorry this is using the table so here i am putting the table is this ref then uh, we can show Oh, that's just that's something. So here I just wanted to put here which location I have put at this. Just shift to this one. So here. So in the table one, using the table one, we can show this something. So in the that I can refer also. Referring also possible by using level and tables, uh, level and captions. Now we want to see referring also done by refer the name of the table whatever we have done now we want to see the file and file structures and uh, these things so before just moving to this one just we are using here it is a book mode hopefully or article mode let's see uh, we are using the this is article mode say we just want to use here the book no change just a content left to right or some these things it is changed i want to make little bit here instead of putting these things i just want to put here it is an argument here so i want to put here the 14 point 
so this is content now 14 point sorry 12 point let me see the 12 point first yeah see now uh, contacts are little bit bigger now 12 14 that way different point we can use that way it will be setting up now the most important things here automatically it will take the header and these things so for making this header of these things i can use here first i am using here to say here section so section is that introduction okay so see what are the effects are coming so see this is the section introduction is coming i want to put after some time after doing these things this is a subsection so name of the subsection say uh, a b c d f this is the uh, say name of the subsection see subsection also coming 1.1 automatic it will be taking then i am taking a say this is chapter this is all are inside the one chapter so i'm taking gsap chapter chapter number is one chapter number is that so uh, say a r t i f i c l a artificial artificial intelligence this is the name of the chapter so chapter one artificial intelligence this introduction then subsection section subsection the content are is all are coming here that way so with this we can i think we can uh, make one file or content that means uh, making any kind of file structure for making that writing your thesis or the article for any of the conferences we can do so but for that purposes always we can get the some of the uh, template already given how they want to make their format all the papers or the content what they are receiving all they want in a same or similar format that's why they just prepare, prepare a template when we this they are preparing the templates the player templates will be having some of the point it means uh, some of the text file or some uh, this class file they will be including there that are the text file and class files are included say suppose main file preamble file cover file text file and their paper uh, file all of the text files say eh, here text then bibliography b files upper text uh, appendix text file these are the some structure or summary text it will be there you just put your content inside this and then after the automatically once runs then automatically you can get the, the your files so for making these things it is very important to declare here the uh, making say uh, say here name um, this one say suppose you want to make a title page the title page i don't actually i have prepared here but i didn't give any title of this till now i just want to give now the title of this one so title for making the title so you have to put here p i t l e title so name of the title say here workshop uh, so fundamental the text fundamental workshop or say linux linux fundamental workshop so this is the title i just want to create so in this title i want to put here say author also author here say author so say mr x x x x y y y okay so you can include here the institute and this thing also after doing these things we have to make here make titles make title 
then it will create a my title so the file or books what i am creating this is the fundamental workshop by this date this this is a title now after that one page here then chapter and this thing this is where we can create our say any report or books and this kind of things and inside the content we can arrange that way now uh, similarly just after doing here so this is a chapter one so inside this i want to put here chapter two you can see here so chapter two yes i can put here chapter two anyhow where is it is required we can put chapter two say suppose latex E E X. This is the this symbol. So latex. This is the chapter two, the latex chapter. This is the first chapter. And then second chapter is latex. This is where it is coming. Now uh, the text and these things we can create that way the heading and this thing title phase then similarly abstract and summary phase already they have predefined you have to put here the begin abstract and end abstract in between that you put your content it will be automatically display summary and these things and then section subsection paragraph subparagraph everything impossible mm, then this now very important things is that bibliography how we can make the bibliography there is a two way of making the bibliography when we are making uh, this thing content in the end of these things i want to make the bibliography so here i just want to make my bibliography here so here bibliography i am putting here the begin bibliography begin bibliography okay so here the content size i want to hear and bibliography and let me see except syntax for that So here, um, both are the same or I'm just making this is and. So let me see first it is working or not. Some mistake it is there. Okay, let, first I'm just trying to do using the manually, then I will be doing to using this. Uh, first I am bibliography. Bibliography, I'm just uh, making a bibliographic file first. So name of the bibliography file, I'm just putting abc dot diff. Okay, this one I'm just doing, but it will not run this this, this bibliography I'm till now I didn't make. So I'm making the file. So in who, which location I'm just creating the content. So that side I can make now my file. So I'm making a file of bibliography, first new, uh, one new file. I'm sorry, not this one any text file i'm just taking so abc dot beef so after doing the beef so my bibliography file is ready now i can put here my content uh, means file uh, the file these things this is called what bib item i can put here so in this bib, bib item for this the bib item uh, what are the bib item I can put? Bib item you can make get from the internet very easily also. Sorry, bib item you can get from the internet very easily. So how we can get? Let's see. So when we just put, when we just put say uh, Google Scholar, Google Scholar. So inside the Google Scholar, 
you write the article name from the you search the article name from there you can easily get so you say for image processing i'm just searching the some of the content so this is the articles here the big text item is already available so this is one now this one i am putting inside this making the big item yes after that i'm saving save this name of the big item is that robust this one so i am citing now in this my paper i mean this content where say here in this any of the locations here so how i am putting here cite this is it the correct one or not let's see check rows one to correct one save now i just run this one after running we may get the reference in which location i have put it hopefully in this location i have put it Ross 19. This may be the not the correct. Okay, let's see another one. Say so from here, the text we can collect this book. Let's see this book. So here. Save. After saving, we can get. Let's see here. In between curly brace, we are putting the values. Both are not showing. Maybe some problem happen. Let's see. I'm just making this one as an article. This is a book type. ARTICL article. So here the mistakes are coming. Chapter in the article chapter is not available. So comment the next chapter where 21 21 pages. Uh, here this one is two chapter. It will not be taken now. Let's see. And taken the correct value or what? ABC with text ABC that bibliography. Bibliographic style. Answered SRT. Yeah, this now references is coming. Bibliography, bibliography style, but I think correct location I didn't put. That's why it is not coming. It must be supposed to be put in the current for correct locations. Then only we can get. this sometimes if we refresh it then also it come the text values are not coming 
but this is supposed to be possible uh, it should come uh, some mistake is maybe happened somewhere that's why it's not coming so anyway we have to be use here that's a bibliographic style and then bibliography you have to make after that biblio oh i have my declaration is wrong that's why now it will be coming yeah see this is the paper number this and this first paper and this is the two references already we have put it here now here i just want to put here one this value use package use package hyper hyper ref hyper references this is not the correct syntax that's why it is not coming we have to search the correct package we have to use otherwise it will not be running for these cases okay this way i just want we can include the some of the references style table we can do but this all the things we no need to do when we are using the some template templates are available in the internet when the conferences or the journals we are trying to make the uh, any of the content for that specific journal they have given always their content or template i just we have to download this template and we have to write our content you have to uh, put your uh, equation figure table and these things after that automatically your uh, paper will be ready so uh, for this uh, way we can prepare the paper and the uh, thesis or any books of the things sometimes error occurs so when the error occurs even we see the errors also the nine number is showing what are the errors exactly if it is not showing also maybe due to which instruction is error is coming if we see go and when you see that instruction again we relook on that instruction maybe we can identify the specific instruction so here see some when we are missing the some curly brace for these cases then error is coming that one we just trying to show here then uh, here this one say picture name we put here say a picture so picture name or less should be a one or if we want to two three letter is there by using the um, this is called what uh, underscore we have to be much we may have to make the one letter that we have to make then some theorems and uh, some more mathematics we can make do uh, by using the latex like a say using the theorems we can uh, create the instructions for the theorem say new theorem name of the theorem and display name say here name thm by theorems and begin thm and end thm and that in between that two syntax if we write then theorem will be coming so this is that begin theorem and theorem that way we can do means redefine the some syntax also the possibilities is there and these all are under the micros then some adding the references already i have shown in the uh, adding references in the theorem then you have to put you can put the optional argument say call uh, coin 2009 coin 2009 so for uh, this who, what the theorem is written theorem pythagoras so you can write the pythagoras on that then the theorems will become we can put the proof and these things once you have designed that new theorem uh, the new proof or new theorem then theorem proof then and the specific word which you want to to write that one if you write here like the theorem how you can making that way you can make for the proof also so this way we can create many micros micros operation is also possible okay now we will see this is the pmr uh, presentations this till now we have seen only the um, paper and uh, thesis book preparation purpose now we can see these things for the presentation purpose so in the presentation purpose this is also very easy same things like we have to use the document class we have to use the pmr after that we have to put here the some mode so mode is presentation mode use we have to use the some themes there is a number of themes are available and and tvs 
Berkeley, Berlin, Gotthard and Mellon, there is a very things is there. So you have to use theme, then theme color. Uh, there is also number of colors are available. From there you choose one of the color. And that after doing this color, then use package font size, skip size, caption. And we have to put the presentation mode. Oh, after doing uh, stopping this presentation mode, then means uh, after close curly brace, then we can use the add slide. For making the slide, begin slide, uh, begin frame, and frame, then title of the frame, and make fr uh, frame titles, everything we can do. Then some special uh, uh, slide if you want to make, say, titles page then table of content that things we can do like uh, how you're making that title then make title or title space we can title page we can create similarly for this also then uh, we can create here the block and end block and these things for doing these things as i'm just showing one of my already ready made one uh, for it for to make till uh, now it will be taking little bit more times instead, uh, instead of that i'm just showing that one what I have using and that one it will be good if I make the big and size I am coloring size I am making the latex and uh, page number already there so this is a BMR these things so I am creating the document class BMR more presentations then th my theorem uh, sorry use theme what kind of there is a multiple themes are available similarly multiple color theme color also is available then what are the package speak picture if i want to do picture text computer say some eps2 pdf converter say uh, means uh, package listing package color package whatever you want to include if it is you include the maths the ams maths also you can include after doing these things we have to make a title and the title what are the things content we want to include that things you can write after doing these things then you have to make a begin frame and frame in between begin and end frames you just write the content how you want to put up this so here i just want to show this is one block this is one block so here how i'm just beginning block so for that purpose i'm just creating here one block how it is creating the block so begin block automatically it will come name of the block you have to put so here latex has this is the block number and here i am putting the some listed items okay similarly i can create here the columns also here some cases i am using the columns also the two block i am using here uh, columns columns uh, here see in this block two columns i am creating this is one column this is another columns so see how i have created here first columns there is a uh, there is two main types of a list says this one say block name listed bulleted list so first in this column 50 percent of the text with column i am putting this other text and 50 percent of this other text i am putting this text similarly and this side also numbering also i am putting 50 percent positions this text which values and next 50 percent this bullet values i am written here so that way you can create the columns also these things are the possibilities are here then we can make the animation in the presentation also by using the first what uh, until how much uh which slide to which slide we want to display which slide we don't want to display that is using the pause or some pause command number this bullet number two item number this to this we can put so until the press uh, uh that next slide or next value will not be coming okay so these are the say some uh, then frames also you can disappear from frame number this to this you can do that way animation also create i'm not going to so this uh, all about my the latex presentation this is just a beginning so and this things i just want to see show my from my side so actually with one lecture is not possible to show everything so already i've taken a lot of times uh, just uh, i just want to conclude my uh, this lecture here so after seeing a lot of this kind of things discussions uh, we can now see why actually we have to use the latex 
so let tech actually allow us to uh, to um, allow you to worry about the content and structure rather than the presentations already seen presentation let tech and they are doing expect uh, accept uh, the content and structure what you want to do what kind of content you want to um, put there then it also most advanced and math type setting system around so advanced math systems we can make put here and by this we can display any kind of mathematics uh, very easy uh, by using the latex then increase increase incredibly it is extendable so we can extend any kind of content you can put there we can make a very large uh, file or large text uh, large uh, content or large page books also we can create by using this it is a easily extendable it is uh, just copying from one template to another template then it will automatically adjust by the template it will be go just we have to copy the content only latex keep track the references so that uh, you do not have to so once you have uh, keeping the references or uh, you put the refer specific references so when you are changing the template or one template to another template no need to look after it automatically it will be looked after from which uh, content or text or picture you are referring that things also you can look after from here and then they automatically looking after no need to think for you and it's may allow you to make them more consistent and more easily changeable and document so you can easily change the document if you want somewhere and it's very consistent that's why it is latex is there so uh, by these things it's not possible to complete learn by the latex so you have to uh, practice more and uh, for uh, more helps you can take the help say suppose here uh, whenever you google it you will get a lot of the content say uh, in the google Wiki, latex wikipedia that is there i just already uh, included some of the references what i am considering for the preparing this presentation purpose that one then not so short introduction latex to that one for mathematical purpose a short math guide uh, for latex or bmar this is another books for the presentation purpose you can and there so with this i just want to tell this is a uh, google is the best friend for making the latex documents you just want you start the preparing local uh, lo, uh, this latex document or latex uh, uh, um, this is content then uh, um, by after few days you may become an expert in the latex so it's not a difficult it's easy only i will be telling so with this i just uh, want to finish my presentations I just want to give some more information for you pupils before I just officially finish of this. The so few information is that actually uh, my university, major university, actually offering some online degree courses. This is the first time we are offering from our university, the opening from January 2021. So as we are under the NRA ranking 100, so under 100 ranking university they can offer online program so that's why you also got this opportunity to offer the online program so some of the online program we are offering you can take admission those who are interested say like become e-commerce become accountancy become business become commerce mcom commerce then some msc program msc in iot msc cyber security artificial intelligence and app development is there and after that mba e-finance MBA digital marketing, MBA entrepreneurship and customer relationship management, then big data analysis. These are some programs are available. And actually our university also offering some, uh, actually we have a HRDC center. We are offering a lot of uh, webinar, seminar, RC, uh, orientation program, faculty development program. Mostly in each and every week we are also offering. If interested people, they can attend the webinar, seminar, then HRDC programs. So we have in our PhD program, especially for the CSC pupils, if anyone interested in the PhD to do uh, under information security, cloud security interested, uh, means uh, internet of things, they can uh, contract and they can take admission in Mizoram University also. With this, I'm just thanking to everyone. Now, if any questions, I am will be thankful to answer the questions. Thank you, Dr. Shuman Depnath, sir. Thank you, Dr. Shuman Depnath, sir.
uh, for this uh, very beautiful and elaborate discussion on latex. From this session, uh, we came to know many uses and working principles of latex, uh, which we can implement on making various articles, documents, then presentation, technical reports. Uh, so, um, sir, your session is uh, very clear to all of you, uh, all the participants, that uh, that uh, the participants don't have any queries or doubts on this. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, it is a great pleasure for me to say a few words at the end of this e-workshop. I, on the behalf of department, organizing committee, and college, would like to thank our chief patron, sir, honorable director, NIT Agartala, professor H.K. Sharma, patron, Sri Saju Wahid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yes. Actually, okay. my network problem just disconnected. Yeah, please. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, okay. Then I am again reading. Actually, thank you, Dr. Shoman Devgat, sir, uh, for uh, this very beautiful and elaborate discussion on latex. From this session, we came to know many uses and working principles of latex, which we can implement on making various articles, documents, presentation, etc. Sir, your session is uh, very much clear to all the participants that uh, they don't have any doubts or queries. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. OK, thank you. OK. okay. So uh, I, on the behalf of department, organizing committee, and college, would like to thank our chief patron, honorable director, NIT Agartala, Professor H.K. Sharma, patron Sri Saju Wahid A., IAS, director of higher education, government of Tripura, and President Srimati Manidipa Deparma, Principal Women's College, Agartala, for their support and encouragement. I extend our biggest thanks to all the resource persons who have shared their valuable knowledge with us on various topics related to Linux and Latex. A very special gratitude and ever thankful to Srimati Pushparang Rankal, the convener of this workshop, and all the members of the organizing committee who had to say many thanks for your all efforts to participate in this e-workshop. I would like to share that the feedback form will be given in the Telegram group and every registered participant need to submit the feedback form to get an e-certificate. I wish all of you stay safe and have a good healthy life ahead. I end this e-workshop with a quote. Every story has an end, but in life, every ending is just a new beginning. Thank you all.